Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making a baby dragon. First step is the armature. For my armature today I'm going to be using some aluminium foil and some aluminium wire. So I'm just going to ball that up and make it into the rough shape um, of my creation, my baby dragon. And then once I'm done I'm going to cover that with some clay. Just a really simple armature. Nothing too fancy. And I really don't have um, a set picture of what this is going to look like in my head at this point. I'm just kind of playing around with the form of the dragon until we get something that I like. So my baby dragon is going to be lying down and kind of curled up. And I'm just popping the suggestion of um, a shoulder blade on there and the arm. Obviously I'm not going to leave the arm like that but um, I need to believe it whilst I'm making it. And I'm just adding the hip bone on there or suggestion of the hip bone and a back foot. Just add in the other leg on or the suggestion of a back leg and hip sort of tucked underneath the dragon. I kind of want him to look like he's a baby dragon, so adolescent, almost in a fetal position with his little arms tucked up underneath him and his legs. Just giving him some wrinkles on the skin, kind of like his skin's a little bit too big for, for him, like he might be uh, going to grow into it. A little bit baggy and loose on him with the suggestion of his limbs and um, sort of bone structure underneath. To create the wrinkles I'm just um, tearing off small bits of clay, roughly shaping them into long wrinkles, popping them on the torso in the appropriate or what I, what I think is the appropriate positioning and then just blending the edges in so that um, they don't look like blobs, they look like ruffles in the surface of the clay or the skin of the dragon. And then when I'm happy with the amount of wrinkles for the time being and detail on the skin of the dragon, I'm just going to start shaping out the head a bit better. So to shape the head out, or any part really. Um, I use pieces of clay, rough pieces of clay, usually flat, and build them up and then blend them in. Kind of like pieces of ham, layered ham, sort of a ham sandwich if you will. I'm just gonna play with that till I'm happy or happier with the shape. going to start working on his mouth a little bit. Um, I want it to kind of look a little bit like his upper lip is resting on the outside over his bottom lip. So to do that I just roughly pushed out the shape of his mouth with my knitting needle, one of my favourite tools, and then um, rolled out a rough shape of clay in the shape of the lips over the top and blended one side in. Then when I'm happy with the rough shape of his lips, I'm gonna go and add in some nostrils. So I'm just using a toothpick to poke some nostril holes where I think his um, nasal cavity should be. And then I'm gonna further accentuate the nostril area by adding some more blobs of clay 
roughly shaped to the sort of cartilage of a nostril and then blending that in but leaving the hole obviously in the middle. So I don't have an exact idea in my head that I'm trying to form the dragon, just a rough idea and I'm playing with the features until I'm happy happy with what we've got there. Um, on the top of the dragon's head I was kind of thinking maybe horns but not fully fledged horns so just a suggestion of some ridges or the beginnings of horns um, but I'm not totally happy with them here. So for the dragon eyes I made two indentations on his head or skull like eye sockets and then I put balled up two small pieces of clay for the eyeballs and added them into the sockets and then popped the pupil in with one of my tools and then I'm using blobs of clay for the upper and lower eyelids which I blend in. Skipping about a bit, I've just realised he definitely needs some more wrinkles on on his long neck because it's bent in. So I'm just adding those on the same way that I did on the torso. quick flash of some rough ears there. There's something I like about that. Hmm. So starting on the feet and claws, adding a bit of detail, I'm just going to shape the claws out with rough blobs of clay and then reinforce them with some thin wire. Um, I'm reinforcing them not because I think they'll really break um, once they're baked, but if there was no armature in the middle, I think they'd probably lose their shape because I'm picking the dragon up and putting them down and moving them about. So just to help keep the shape that I pop on. I'm just doing them quite roughly, obviously. Not, not doing a huge amount of detail, just leaving it as a suggestion of claws on the feet. So once I'm happy with the claws, I'm adding a joining bit of skin between the actual claw and the foot. Making the skin nice and wrinkly on the foot itself. Adding a back claw in the same way and then blending it with a piece of skin. And then adding some texture to the surface of the claws using a cocktail stick, making them kind of rough and grainy. Adding a bit more detail to the folds and wrinkles of the skin on the bent front arm and adding the front claws in the same way. So 
I apologize for the quality of the footage for this next section, this small bit, because um, it's quite grainy. I'm not sure what I did differently for this bit of video, but um, it, didn't, it didn't come out very clearly as, as the rest of it did. I'm just um, adding some more wrinkles, accentuating his baggy skin. So I'm not very pleased with the face and the top of the head in particular. So I went ahead and smoothed it all down, removed the facial features and I'm just gonna start again on the face. So much the same as I did the first time, but changing the expression slightly. It dawned on me that um, the eyes should be slightly more to the side rather than facing head on. So I went ahead and redid the eyes, but um, at a slightly different angle, slightly different shape, and I'm much happier with um, how these turned out. And then I didn't, I wasn't quite feeling that spike on the top of his head, the horns weren't right. And I didn't want to give him full adult horns because I think it would stop him from looking like a baby, like a baby dragon. So I thought it'd be quite cool to give him ears, like dog ears, like puppy ears. So that's kind of what I was going for here. Let me know what you think of his ears in the comments below. Should I have left him with some horns? Should I have done his horns differently? I did think about giving him sort of pointy ears, but I thought it would be funny to give him sort of big floppy ears. You'd never see that really on a dragon. I wanted a dragon that was a bit, a bit unique. And I thought it would help him look like a baby too. worried that his ears are gonna snap off or they're not gonna bond properly to the head so just to make sure that they don't come off I'm gonna use a little bit of clay glue or in this case Sculpey branded bake and bond. Um, and there's an extra detail for this guy I was thinking of giving him the suggestion of some wings that were maybe not quite grown yet, but thinking of coming through like uh, like children's teeth, or adult teeth, should I say, that children haven't yet cut. So he's got some wings that he hasn't yet cut that have just started to come through. So little wing pips on his back. So I'm just going to add a little bit more detail to the texture of the skin, give it a further dimension. And to do that, I'm just using one of my regular sculpting tools. Um, it's got a textured handle on it, and I'm just rolling the textured handle over the surface in the hope that it looks a little bit like a reptilian skin there on my baby dragon. I'm not sure exactly how well you can see that detail on the video, but when I painted the dragon, I was really pleased with how it came out. I think um, it was quite good, quite a good effect. Just to make the wing pips look a bit more believable, I am adding some more detail. So 
um, adding a thin layer of skin around the outside and blending it with the dragon's actual skin, um, hopefully to give the appearance that the something is com coming through the skin, something is growing through the skin. And then adding some texture to the wings themselves with a cocktail stick, making them look a bit um, bony or rough. Just before I bake, I'm just gonna have one more check. Check I'm not gonna add any more detail anywhere. Maybe just touch up the places where I've smooshed the texture holding him in my hands. Just press in hard enough to leave a mark in the clay without squashing the folds and wrinkles. And then he's ready for the oven. Once he's baked, uh, leave him to cool down for a little bit and then he's ready for painting. So to paint my baby dragon, I just took a base colour green. It was um, not too light, not too dark and covered the whole thing and then used the hair dryer to dry between coats. It did take a couple of coats to get full coverage. And then I'm taking um, some darker paint and using it like a, a wash, just letting it go into all the nooks and crannies and then wiping off any excess to give it a bit of dimension. And then I'm going to take some, some lighter colour green and just um, add some highlight. Finally, during the painting on the dragon, um, I took a shiny paint. I think it was called Color Shift in, in a shade of green. It doesn't show overly well on the video, I guess, but it's sort of somewhere between metallic and glittery, a shimmery kind of paint. I just added that uh, Color Shift paint to the top of the texture, so I wasn't allowing it to go as deep down as the wash did. So dry brush in, add in the colour on without, um, without losing the depth to the skin texture. And I was really pleased actually with how that came out. chose um, a very striking yellow for the dragon eyes and used a small paintbrush to apply. I chose a sort of bone colour for the dragon claws and I also painted the pips the same colour um, but I used a red sort of wash on the pips, on the wing pips um, and then a purpley sort of wash just to run into the details and make it look a bit a bit like um, a tooth or something that's being cut. And then 
for the final details on my dragon, I'm just using a toothpick to colour his pupils with some black paint. That's my baby dragon complete. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process as much as I did and I look forward to seeing you next time.